Across the Cape Fear, agencies that help animals in distress have been busy due to the recent winter storms and bitterly cold temperatures. Yeah, our own Celeste Smith joining us live in the newsroom with more. Hi Celeste, uh, I guess best question, which animals are being impacted the most? Well, Hannah and Randy, sea turtles and certain species of species of birds like pelicans have been taken in by nonprofits like Skywatch Bird Rescue and the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rehabilitation Center. Many of the animals being taken in this winter are being treated for cold stunning. That happens when they're unable to escape cold water or air, creating a condition similar to hypothermia. The executive director of the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rehabilitation Center says the winter storms have blown more sea turtles inland which has them seeing an increase in the number of turtles needing help. Some of them just kind of get trapped near shore or they're up foraging in the estuaries where it's warmer. And then all of a sudden it starts to get too cold for them. And when they try to go out, they get colder and colder and they get severely hypothermic or cold stunned. Skywatch Bird Rescue has also seen an increase in birds in need of help due to the cold weather. They kind of end up in weird places like people are finding them in their backyard or in their driveway or the side of the road because they're flying around and literally just run out of gas and come down wherever they come down. Both leaders of the nonprofits explained how cold stunning can impact the health of the animals. Frostbite can affect their the skin on their bodies, like on the pouch and on the feet. And so they have this trifecta of problems where they're in pain, they're exhausted, they're extremely hungry, extremely starving. They stop eating, their heart rate slows down, their respiration rate slows down. They often have secondary medical conditions. Many come in with pneumonia. Sometimes they've got broken bones. Both the Sea Turtle Hospital and Skywatch Bird Rescue have been asking for donations to help care for the surge in patients. 